Hello everyone, so we will continue over the AWS Lambda practical part. In previous video, we have understand about how actually we can create a AWS Lambda function. In this video, we are going to understand about triggering part. So we have one of the requirement. First, we will try to understand that and then we will try to do a practical. So the requirement is like whenever any user is uploading a file to the S3 bucket, we should trigger a Lambda function. So that is the basic requirement we have. But there are multiple use cases around this. So one of the use case I will discuss with you. So suppose you have a photo resize application. In the online you will get to see multiple applications are there. So whenever you will upload your image, it will try to resize your photo. Okay, so suppose this is one of the application I have. So if any user who is uploading an image, so generally it will get stored into the any storage account. But suppose in our case it is getting stored into the S3. So once it is uploading into the S3, what actually we'll do, we'll try to trigger a Lambda function. We will try to read the file and we will try to resize it by using a Python language. Okay. Once we will resize, we will again try to store back into the Amazon S3. Okay. So that, that is kind of the code actually we'll try to write in the Lambda itself. So if any user who is uploading a file and it is getting stored in the S3, We'll try to uh, trigger a lambda. We will run our code and we'll try to resize and we'll try to send back to our user with resize image. So this kind of the use case generally you will see in the organization where you will be having a requirement. Okay, so that only we are going to discuss like how actually you can trigger a lambda function. So we'll try to do a practical and we'll try to understand. So if anyone will upload a file into the S3 bucket, we'll try to trigger a Lambda function that only we are going to see in this particular video. So for that, what we will do first, we'll try to create a S3 bucket. We will try to upload a file. We'll try to create IAM role for the Lambda execution and we'll try to create a Lambda function and the Python code. So let's start with doing a practical. I will open my AWS console. First, I will try to open S3. Click on the S3. We'll try to create a bucket and we'll try to upload a file. Okay. So what I will give, I will give a Lambda project. This is the bucket name I am giving. You can give any bucket name and directly we'll try to click on the create bucket. Okay. You can see the bucket got created. I will open this and I will try to upload a file. You can upload any kind of the file. Okay. It is just a for practice. So I'll try to upload a file. Any random file I will take and I will try to upload that. So let me take this particular file. So I have one of the file. This is the index.html. So I will take that and I will just try to upload it. So this is the file which got uploaded index.html.txt. Okay. And what is our bucket name? So bucket name is lambda project. This is the bucket name. So our S3 file is there. Now what we will try to do, we will try to create a lambda. So I will search for the lambda here. Open link in new tab. Click on the create function. Author from scratch will give a function name lambda s3 project. Okay, This is the project name I am giving. Runtime we will select the python and after that we will try to create a permission IAM role so that it will try to generate a log into the AWS cloud. So for that we should have a role for that. So what we will do, we will try to create one role. So I will open a new role. How actually we can create a role? We can create a role by using a IAM. So IAM, I will go to the role. Once you will open IAM, this will look like this. Click on the role. And we are going to create a new role. Use cases is like lambda. So I'll select that. Click on the next. What is the permission we want to give? We want to give a permission for the execution lambda. So we will try to select the AWS lambda execute. Okay. It provides the put get access to the S3 like that. Okay. So I'll select that. Click on the next. Give the role name. Lambda project something we will give. You can give any name and then click on the create role. Now go back to the our lambda function, use an existing role. So refresh this. 
select lambda project and this is the role we have created right and click on the create function so now we have created our lambda project now what we will do we will try to trigger it so i will click on the add trigger bottom you can see we have a function that is fine now what we will do we will click on the trigger so i'll click on the add trigger once you will click on the trigger you can see you have a source so what is our use case our use case is for the s3 right so i will select the s3 here i'll search for the s3 what is the bucket it is asking so i'll select the bucket name and the event so if anyone is put activities happening post activities happening any copy activities happening any deletion activities happening so for that this kind of the use cases you have so if any kind of the activity based on the specific you want to trigger event you can select that but as of now all object create events i will select that okay so if any activity is happening i'll just try to trigger it so that is the one i have selected as a event type okay after that i will just acknowledge it click on the add our trigger is ready so if anyone will try to upload anything into the s3 it will trigger it and how actually we can monitor we can monitor it with the help of a aws cloud watch so first i will go to the code and here we will try to print a event so i will click on the print event okay so that particular event will get printed okay on the deploy now what what we will do we will try we'll go to the s3 bucket try to upload a file here so this is the bucket i have right so previously we uploaded one file but that was not required let's try to upload any file and let's see whether our lambda function is getting triggered or not so i'll click on this upload button click on that file you can uh, upload any file so this is a particular file i will try to upload click on the upload so if i am uploading a file means the lambda should trigger automatically so you can see the file got uploaded now what i will do i'll go to lambda function i'll go to the monitor obviously we can monitor we can monitor via cloudwatch so i'll open this cloud you can see 736 this is the time i will just try to open this now you can see this is the print we have we are printing a event right so you can see this is the event actually it is printing so it is giving a detail about aws s3 what is the aws region what is the event name and all the kinds of the details so if i will show you it is a giving a detail of the somewhere the file name also so let us try to find out you can see this is the bucket name lambda project And this is the bucket name now this is the file name whatsapp image this is the file name right jpg which actually we have uploaded i will show you whatsapp image 2024 this one so this actually it is giving the file name also so it is giving all the details about whatever the events which we have done whatever the files actually we have uploaded so it is giving the details this actually you can use it for the reading the file you can see object created is a put means we have uploaded right so that's why it is coming put and this is the, the file name so you can use it for the reading of file and after that you can do it based on your requirement like if you want to resize if you want to do some kind of the analysis with the file you can do it that actually we will try to see in the next video but as of now i hope you got idea like how actually we can upload a file into the s3 and we can trigger a event by using lambda trigger